Cancerian friends and welcome to your horoscope for June of 2020 where Cancer this month it is a busy month your ruling planet the moon has going to eclipse this month so it already tells us too that for you truly internally and externally it is going to be a busy month and I have to tell you right out of the gate Cancers I feel like this is a good month for you to be mindful of how much impact these eclipses will have on just your energy. So if you can hydrate well, you can rest well this month, and you can like lighten your schedule load for this month, I think it's going to be nothing but purely beneficial for you, especially because not only is your ruling planet eclipsing, but also it's happening in your sign. So if you are some of the Cancerian friends who are at the early degrees of the Cancer sign, so zero to five degrees, this is really going to have a huge impact on you. And I think you feel it a lot more intensely but truly all cancers are going to feel this energy this month so if you can do yourself a favor lighten the load a little bit give yourself some downtime should you need it i think it will be more than to your benefit especially because the first eclipse is going to happen in your sixth house which is the house of health and work but it could just make you tired so i just want you to be mindful of that this month lighten up if you can okay all right cancer let's jump in here and talk about what's going on so right at the beginning of the month, as we come in on the second, Mercury, who will go retrograde this month, is going to enter into shadow time. And it's going to enter into shadow time in your sign. So again, the thinking, perception, decision-making, messaging energy is starting to slow down. So your mind's starting to slow down because Mercury is going to turn backwards. And we're going to review things about Cancer until July. So again, we've got a shift in energy here. And it begins to slow right here on the 2nd. Okay. On the 5th, we're going to have the lunar eclipse happening at 21 degrees of Sagittarius. And again, this lights up your 6th house. The 6th house is about health, it's about wellness, and I include mental health and wellness in here, but it's also about jobs and co-workers and things like that. Now, a full moon in and of itself says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or an adjustment is going to come to the table. With a lunar eclipse, this is a situational and an emotional reset to it that lasts about six months. So in your job or in your um health practices you've got a shift coming here you will have a disruption now you likely don't feel the intensity of this disruption full force here in june because so many of the planets are retrograde but i think you want to pay attention to it pay attention to what feels like it's been disrupted in this area of your life because it's going to ask for a course correction over this next six months okay and again i point out to here very um mental health wise is your mind changing here right are you getting a bigger picture view sagittarian energy are you a little bit more pragmatic about things right sometimes it's nice to just hover over these areas of our lives and get a different view on them for sure so in the sixth house are there changes coming to your job industry or just your office itself you know maybe you have the same company you're not in a different job or anything but maybe you're in the same company and there are just some changes that are coming we've had covid a lot of things are going to be changing, so be prepared to go with the flow over this next six months, okay? On the 18th, Mercury is now ready to actually take that retrograde in your sign. And we're going to see it retrograde all the way until July 12th. So during a Mercury retrograde, we're going to revise, re-edit, reconnect, review, re-reunite. Oh, Cancers, you guys are real good about some reuniting during a Mercury retrograde, right? So you're going to go back to something in the past. This happens in your first house. So Cancer, you're really taking an opportunity to re-look at you, re-edit you, revise you. How are you showing up? What do you think of yourself? How are you presenting yourself? What decisions? Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't know who you are, but somebody out there is having a baby. You are having a baby and this is literally changing your name on this planet. You now become mom or you become dad. Seems to be what's happening right there. So if that is you, please tell me in the comment section down below because they just smacked me with that. For the rest of you, you, you may be wanting to change your brand on this planet as well and Mercury will definitely help you do that. But I also feel like here because it's the first house, Mercury will adjust how you show up and how you participate and your voice in your relationships as well. On the 20th, we see the sun coming into the energy of Cancer, so it's light, heat, 
um, vitality is at its finest. It is birthday time for you. So happy, happy birthday. This is a time where you are motivated to do you. You are motivated to be affectionate. You are motivated to have affection given to you in some way, shape or form. But certainly Cancer, you're feeling a bit more motivated to be out in the world. Now, this is also welcoming in summer. So thank you for bringing in our new season as well. And of course, if you're our Southern friends, it's bringing in winter. So we will have a season change. But again, I kind of feel like we are delayed in experiencing the shift of our season um, until July because the energies are just slowed down with so much in retrograde. Now, your birthday present comes on the 21st where we get a new moon happening in the energy of Cancer, but this is a new moon solar eclipse. It's at zero degrees of Cancer, so very critical. If your birthday is on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, big times for you, you are in a cycle shift. You definitely have something new either beginning or ending, which those go hand in hand, right? So this will be a big, significant time for you. But Cancer, this is literally over the next six months, the time where it's like, boom, we're bringing in some changes. We have disrupted Cancer as Cancer has known Cancer, and it is time to show up differently or take on a different status in the world. I think it's going to be absolutely um beautiful. And this is also a time too, I feel like cancer, your emotional intelligence, like the very thing that you are built with, this is such a good instinct and guide for your nature going forward. So trust that emotional intelligence and continue to develop that. Okay. On the 23rd, we see Neptune going retrograde in fellow water energy of Pisces. Now, Neptune's going to go retrograde in your ninth house and will stay here until November. When Neptune goes retrograde, first of all, when Neptune's direct, it's like you can create, you can daydream a little. There's kind of a little veil between you and the truth sometimes. As Neptune goes retrograde, it's like, boom, this is reality. It is set, it is heavy, it is solid, it is concrete, and you're like, ah! right so here in the ninth house this is publishing marketing broadcasting travel especially international things things with different languages it is an energy of expansion also the ninth house though has to do with faith i just keep being shown this cancer if in some way you have tried to avoid or evade this issue of faith or what you believe or the principles and ideas that guide you and direct how you live and how you take actions, Neptune's putting them in your face this time. And it's like, boom, these are not helpful. Or let's develop these more because they're actually working. And what he's going to do while he retrogrades is go back over this area. And Neptune says, we need to create an ideal. We need to explore the world that's in between the worlds, right? Like maybe you don't have to know everything. Maybe you can just develop an idea over here. So I love it. I, I see this visual of, you know, maybe you wanted to create a project or you wanted to create something with your education. Neptune retrograde wants you to just create the ideal. How does it feel when you interact with it? What's the vision you see of this particular area? Because Neptune's going to help you create the ideal. And in five months, you're going to create the material reality of that. So I always use the example before a chair was a useful, functional piece of an equipment. It was just a, a vision. It was just an idea. So you create the vision and then you get something useful out of it, okay? Venus is coming out of retrograde on the 25th of the month in the energy of Gemini. So just back there in the 12th house in your hidden shadow space. So as Venus comes out of retrograde here, I think that you have made peace with ending some relationships, letting some relationships go, letting some financial decisions go. And if you have not, um, if you, because Venus is very much so over money and relationships, um, if you had financial off courses or if you've had value or relationship off courses, Venus retrograde would have helped you bring an end to that or see intellectually, Gemini, who you needed to talk to to make different decisions about that particular area. So as Venus is out of retrograde here now, you're able to have conversations, you're able to um take action to connect with people maybe even of a spiritual nature or to do something like that where you're getting kind of a connection that gives you information that allows you to take steps forward in this particular area to transition the things out that don't need to be there or to let them lie in completion it is also a really great time too as venus is out of retrograde if you are ready to go to that retreat even if it's a virtual retreat you can be able to go do that. It's a good time to group and to let your spirituality just kind of grow and bubble and your creativity as well. Oh, okay. Somebody is finishing their screenplay. So you will have finished writing or you maybe even have the idea to move forward with the idea of a screenplay. So if that's you, please let me know in the comment section down below. On the 28th, we have Mars entering into the energy of Aries where he's home, he's happy, he's on fire. He's like, yes, team. Now, this is lighting up your 10th house space. So in your career, 
in your soul level calling and what you're known for in the world and what you do to give something to the world, right? This is where you're going to be motivated. You're going to have action. You're going to have energy. I would tell you in your career, trust your instincts. Mars and Aries energy together is powerful and they trust their instincts. But also what you don't want to do is just be impulsive, right? Don't just take a move to make a move, right? Look around. We're in a retrograde time. You have time to slow down and think before you act, but trust your instincts and then develop the appropriate level plan to help you get whatever it is done in this career area. For some of you, truly, career may just get busy. And let's say that you work in an industry or something that has maybe been on hold or has been adjusting, and now you're having to travel um, or you're needing to, like you're having to fight for something in your industry. And maybe the fight is not that you have to, you know, get into a fist fight, but it's like you're grappling with maybe the new realities. Trust your instinct with what's going on at work and who you are in the world, okay? As we end this month on the 30th, we're going to see Jupiter and Pluto coming together again in another conjunction. We have a series of three of these bad boys this year. We saw one in April, so you started something. You put your hustle on for something in that area then, which would have been in a relationship. Did you start a new relationship? Did you make an adjustment in a relationship? Were you passionate about having a healthy or a good relationship? And that's not just romantic. Don't just think romantic. Keep your mind wide here for me, Cancer, right? What kind of relationships that are significant to you did you make adjustments to at that time because Jupiter and Pluto were like boom desires let's make this bad boy happen but now as they come together in this conjunction they are both retrograde so we know that in your seventh house conscious chosen one-on-one -on -one relationships business dealings um negotiations marriages divorces whatever it is you're gonna go back over what started in april and this energy shows you what an immense capacity you have to defeat your challenges right and to be um, effective and successful but you maybe have to go back over them at this time so they're going to show you the wisdom in change the wisdom in why you can't just do this area the way that you've been doing it if you're gonna have success and that it's okay to be scared it's okay not to know where to go next it's okay to not have all of the answers that this energy will guide you backwards and show you the next steps in order to make these desires come true it's an absolutely brilliant and delicious energy now if you haven't checked out the jupiter and pluto conjunction video please check that out it goes a lot more in depth with how this energy is working and how you can use it as well and how all three different stages of this will show up in your world because we'll see it again in november all right, Cancer, busy month. Please give yourself the grace and the space to take downtime if you need it. Or if you're like, Stormy Grace, I'm feeling so good. Go do you and feel really good. Just make sure you hydrate and take care of yourself, okay? I hope you guys will continue to join me for the eat and greets. We've got more friends signed up to come to the Cyber House. Maurice Fernandez will be around. Elizabeth Grace is coming around and, and more. We have more people who are excited and ready to show up to teach and to talk with us. So I hope to see you guys at all of them. All right, you guys like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Happy, beautiful birthday to you. And I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye, Cancers.